Breaking news, Nigerians. Court orders DSS police to stop Yaya Bello from arresting the Kogi ADC Guba candidate. Justice Ahmed Ratmat Mohammed of the Federal High Court in Abuja has ordered the Director General, Department of the State Service, and the Inspector General of Police to give maximum protection to the governorship candidate of the African Democratic Congress, ADC, Honorable Lakev Adejidi Agbejidi, from any arrest or detention by the Kogi State Governor, Yaya Belo. The DSS police and Belo were in a separate order, banned from inviting, from arresting, from detaining or threatening the life and properties of the governorship candidate pending the hearing and the determination of a suit instituted against them by the politician. The restraining orders were issued by the judge on Wednesday in Abuja while ruling in an ex parte application argued by urged by a senior advocate of Nigeria, San Sami, on behalf of the governorship candidates. In the enroll order signed by Justice Mohammed, the DSS, the police, and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps are ordered to protect the properties of the politician in Abuja, in Kogi State, and in any part of the country while the order lasts. The governorship candidate in the ex parte motion marked FHC ABJ CS 1248-2023 had sought for enforcement of his fundamental rights to life, dignity of person, personal liberty, fair hearing, peaceful assembly, and association. He also sought the enforcement of his rights to freedom of movement, freedom from discrimination, as enshrined in the sections 33, 34, 35, and 43 of the, 99, of the 1999 Constitution, and other relevant laws on human rights. He complained that since he emerged as the governorship candidate, that Governor Yaya Bello had allegedly threatened to get him arrested and detained to keep him out of circulation. Abejide further alleged that the ultimate aim of the governor is to harass him to threaten him and to get him out of the November 11, 2023 governorship election at all costs to pave way for his anointed candidate in the All Progressive Congress, APC. After listening to arguments of the senior lawyer, along with tendered exhibits, Justice Mohammed issued the restraining orders against the correspondents to the effect that the applicant must not be arrested, must not be detained or harassed pending the resolution of his substantive suit. And yes, they have made it known that uh, an order is hereby made restraining the respondents, their agents, servants, and anyone acting through or under them from arresting, detaining, or threatening the applicant's life. Yes, my country people, the judge ordered the applicants to serve all process in respect to the suit. And the respondents in the suit are the governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, the Nigerian Police Force, the IGP of Police, that's the Inspector General of Police, the Commissioner of Police for Kogi State, the DSS, the Director General of the DSS, also in Kogi State, and the Commandant General, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. Now, the judge thereafter fixed September 20th for the hearing of the substantive suit. And in a substantive suit filed on his behalf by Odigwe James San, the ADC candidate prayed the court for the declaration that the hounding, the arrest, the harassment, the intimidation, the threat to arrest, to kill, to detain by the Kogi governor using armed officials, using armed officers militias and talks to stop him from participating in the November 11th election is a violation of his right to life and dignity of his human person. So he has asked the courts to declare that the threat by Governor Yaya Bello himself 
to attack, to invade, and to destroy his motor vehicles, his houses, and offices, as so as to, to kill, to arrest, and to detain him is a violation of his right to peaceful assembly and association, freedom to life, dignity, and personal liberty. Aba Abejidi applied for an order of the court restraining the respondents, whether by themselves or by their agents or anyone from arresting or adopting or detaining or further harassing, intimidating, shooting, and threatening him and his properties. The ADC governorship candidate also sought another order on Governor Yaya Bello to pay him 2 billion naira for the alleged gross violation of his fundamental human rights in addition to tendering uh, a public apology. Well, my country people, in a 27th paragraph affidavit he personally deposed in to support of the originating summons, the plaintiff advanced that this agent of the Kogi state governor had allegedly laid siege, uh, siege in his house in Abuja since he became a front runner in the Kogi state governorship election. This man claimed that his protest and his complaint to the Inspector General of Police, the IGP, did not yield fruitful results. Hence, his decision to approach the court for protection for his life and his properties. We recall that the same court had on July uh, 13th ordered security agencies in the country to provide maximum protection for another governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in, November, in the November governorship election in Kogi State, following a similar complaint of threats of life by the same Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello. So my country people, now they see what thing they happen like this. Most of these opposition governorship candidates, they are complaining of alleged threat of lives, harassment, intimidation by the Kogi state governor, Yaya Bello. Some of them have even gone to the court seeking a restraining order on Yaya Bello, the Nigerian police, the IGP of police, you know, to stop them from harassing, from detaining, from questioning them. Because it seems that this Yaya Bello feels threatened by their presence in the upcoming November 11th governorship election in Kogi State. And he wants his anointed candidates to win by all means. So he's, you know, making efforts to arrest and detain these people and also to intimidate them. So most of them have run, run to the court seeking an order to halt, you know, any further attempt of a, of a, a, of a harassment arrest and intimidation detainment from Governor Yaya Bello and the Nigerian police force. So guys, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Can you share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section? Thank you.